Hi, my name's Alan Rees and I teach in a local uh, secondary school. Um, and for me, one of my favourite passages is uh, this one from Luke 21. It says this. As Jesus looked up, he saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two very small copper coins. Truly, I tell you, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in all she had to live on. Now, while I might not want to live in poverty, there's something quite beautiful about this passage, that not only was it about the monetary value of the gifts that were put in, but actually the heart attitude of the woman. And this reminds me of someone who I used to um, worship with when I was growing up. It was a gentleman called Billy. And... Billy was wholeheartedly for God, um, and his talents weren't amazing. He had learning difficulties. He, when he sang, he would often be three beats behind everybody else, which was sometimes a little bit off-putting. But there was something about him that was so wholehearted. Um, he would always tell everyone he met about his saviour. He would uh, send Christmas cards to us well after the time that we'd left to go to university. And his faithfulness was something that was quite dramatic. He gave unreservedly to God in so many situations. And the lasting impact from Billy's life has been immense. Myself and the other young people that grew up in that church remember him long after we've forgotten the names of many other members. So my challenge is this, not what is God asking you to give, but how? What heart attitude are you going to bring to the gifts that you give this Christmas? What heart attitude are we going to bring when we worship God? And more so, I wonder if some of us have seen our gifts and written them off as pointless or purposeless because they're not as grand as somebody else's. If that's the case, I want to challenge you to see your gifts as God sees them, as beautiful and worth so much. Hope you have a great day.